what up my beautiful beehive it's bee love chrome back at you again maybe i should go charge my phone because i think it's dying um but hey how are you all doing uh i feel gross because i had way too much food today and like sugar on top of all the chicken i had like and pizza Ooh, ooh i feel gross anyway this is happy talks so Taiji plans are coming in ahead uh what are we on we're on wednesday now thursday friday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday i'm in nine days away uh because a week from wednesday thursday friday seven eight nine yeah i'm nine days away from getting my throat tattooed i'm getting the whole throat tattooed uh, i'm getting a new traditional bumblebee and realistic honeycomb in the back and i think it's going to be black honeycomb it's not going to be actual honeycomb like not like colored honeycomb but um i'm getting that done by brandon rodriguez tattoo on instagram you should look him up on instagram i'll tag him in the in the description brandon rodriguez tattoo on instagram he's based in honolulu hawaii where i live i get i got most of my tattoos here in honolulu hawaii except the one on my back that one was from um virginia that was my first session when i was 22 um i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 16, 17, 18, and 19, 20. I have 20 piercings now. Uh, I used to have more, but now I just have 20. Um, I have tooth gems that have been on there for a while. Um, I have too many tattoos to count. I'll count them later when after I'm done with like, I'll do another counting tattoo video. Um, but my hair is like tennis ball green with a little bit of brownish reddish tips because it didn't bleach well. Um, I have a weird tan. Um, I don't know. I'm excited. B, B, E on these knuckles. L, O, V, love on these knuckles. A gradient rainbow line on my collarbone. Beautiful across my stomach. And then the, the neo-traditional... Bumblebee with the honeycomb on my neck. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, it's gonna hurt really bad, but pain is beauty. I mean, beauty is pain. And if I want tattoos, they're gonna hurt. So I just gotta man up or woman up and like take it. But yeah, um, I'm excited for these tattoos. Uh, I would love to be on the cover of Ink Magazine. It would be cool to be on the cover this year, but if not, I will try again next year. Um, it would be cool to win this year. Um, definitely gonna have more tattoos by the time the competition is over, and I'd like to post more pictures of me, um, with my new tattoos. Um, definitely gotta get my head touched up. Uh, they look really good, but I gotta get it touched up. Um, reading dreadlocks, uh... In August, I think. I need four inches of hair. I got a half an inch right now. It'll grow out. I just gotta let it grow out. Um, keep the side shaved. I'm gonna have a death hawk or a dread hawk. It's gonna look dope. Um, yeah, I love my tattoo. My Hebrew tattoo. One love, one family. Um, yeah, I mean, no regrets. I'm living and learning. I'm. I have a full-time job. I'm kind of like stressed out because I have to balance my job with like working out and I haven't worked out in the past couple of days so I feel kind of guilty. Um, yeah, I definitely want to, I definitely want to um, work out consistently. I think that would be a healthy part of my life as long as I don't overdo it. I definitely need to have a healthier relationship with food because I don't have a healthy relationship with food. I have no self-control whatsoever. And I don't know how I lost the 50 pounds. I think I just, like, it was a miracle. I don't know. I just, like, starved myself. And then, I don't know. I, I didn't starve myself. I just was lucky. I don't know. There's no secret way of me losing the weight. I just was lucky. I just, like, yeah. Um. So I got, I want to be, like, in my 120s and I'm one. 49 around 
I last, that's what I last weighed, so, I don't know, it's really hard, I have a horrible relationship with food, but that's okay, um, I don't want to dye my hair, I need to let my hair grow out and not dye it, let it be natural, but the ends will be colored, and then I'll have them dreaded, yeah, that's my goal, but, uh, follow Brandon Rodriguez Tattoo on Instagram, my Tattoo artist at Ink Pit Kalihi Jack doesn't have an Instagram. He's in his 40s, I think. He just doesn't want one, and he, I don't know if he has one, but um, it's just, it's just, um, he's a good tattoo artist. You should call the shop or, like, yeah, I have, a, I have a cell phone number, but you should call the shop and see if you're in Honolulu. You should get tattooed by him or Brandon Rodriguez or Charlie Pell. Uh, I'll leave all their Instagrams linked below, except Jack doesn't have an Instagram. So, Charlie and, um, Brandon, they tattoo out of West Coast Inc. in Kapolei, and then Jack is at his own shop, it's Ink Pit Kalihi. Um, but they're all really good. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm not tired yet. Oh, I have to take my medicine. Okay. Peace out, guys. Art perpetuates art. Love perpetuates love. Love being me. Love. Peace out.